Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be a review of the Aritzia, the new cocoon coat. I think that's what it's called. The new cocoon coat. Yes. And so I have been wearing this for about like three weeks, I guess. And I've been wearing it a lot, actually. I do like it quite a bit. So I'm just going to talk about some things in case you have been considering this coat, um, maybe some things to keep in mind and just kind of like how I feel about it in general. Um, so I got the black and the one thing I would say is um, it does collect a lot of lint, which I mean all any wool coat is going to collect lint. Uh, with it being black, it definitely shows a lot more. I don't know if you guys can see it. One thing that drives me crazy is my hair falls out and this coat, you know, it just sticks onto the coat, but it's not the coat's fault, it's my hair's fault. Um, I'm gonna see if this light can turn down a bit. Uh, I just wanna show you like how linty mine is. This is I like lint rolled it quite a bit, but it is still collecting lint. Do you see that? It looks maybe worse on the camera than in real life, because in real life you wouldn't be that up close. Um, okay, so this coat is $328 before tax in Canada, and um, I'll let you know, does it say what it's made out of? Like, why, where is the tag? It says that it's good for up to minus 10 or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. It says handcrafted with virgin wool and cashmere, uh, expertly tailored with virgin wool and cashmere from premium Italian mill. This Wilfred classic has a streamlined silhouette and classic fit. It's meticulously construct constructed to deliver warmth to minus 10. Uh, and it says an ultra thin vegan chamoose protects you from wind and cold without added bulk. Um, so they have this little chart here and they have this for all their coats at Aritzia. I've seen this before, even for like the super puffer. So it just shows it's like warm. It's not extremely warm. And then there's an extra button in here. Um, but like, what is the actual composition and why there's no tag to find that? I swear I've seen it somewhere. Oh, maybe this is it. I found it. It's hidden here. Okay. So it is, the body of it is 70% virgin wool, 25% nylon, 5% cashmere, and the lining is 100% cupro. So it's 70% virgin wool. Um, this is what I found. I have found that at, at first when I bought it, it doesn't feel that thick compared to some coats I've had, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but it kind of seems that way. But um, there's somebody here and I feel like they're gonna ring the doorbell any second. Um, but what I've been noticing, because it's actually been really, really cold, it's been like snowing lately where I live, and I've actually been wearing this a lot in this weather, and I'm finding it pretty warm. I would say if it's very, very cold where you, where you live, if you want to wear this, I think it's sufficient. I think the main thing is just make sure that you have a toque as well. So every time I wear this, the, I, the only thing I really notice is my head is cold. So I think it's definitely doing a good job to keep me warm. So I'll back up to show you what it looks like. So the reason why I got this length, I was actually torn between the long coat because I've never owned a floor length coat or a longer coat in my life. And I've really, I've always wanted one, but I don't know, I tried it on and I did, it looked beautiful, I really liked it. But I feel like having all that extra fabric when I go around might start to get annoying. Like if you're taking off your coat, it's just so much coat. And if you wanna hang your coat onto the back of a uh, chair at a restaurant or something like that, I feel like it's, you know, it's gonna drag on the floor. Um, it, those were just some things that I thought about, although I still really do want to have a long coat. I just, yeah, I decided I'd go with this. I just feel like this is a lot more wearable. Um, so that's why I opted for this length. And so this 
Co actually has hidden buttons. And what I'm finding, and it might be because I'm just not used to the buttons actually, is it's a little hard to get on and off. Um, I feel like it's easier to get on than off, but maybe that's something that will get better with time. So yeah, as you see, when I do it up, the buttons are hidden. And I wanna let you guys know, this is a size small and there's room, there's actually quite a bit of room. This is all, see, but the reason why I opted for the size small, and this is how much room I have, is because I wanna wear this with sweaters and I don't like my coats to feel really tight. I used to have a coat, actually an Aritzia coat, that I ended up selling like quite a long time ago. And one of the reasons I wanted to sell it is because it just felt tight and it would, especially being in the car, like it, I don't know if you guys have ever owned a coat like that where it feels really restrictive. I don't like that feeling. So I'd rather have more room. Um, I would say to be honest that they fit true to size. I really do. I think that your coat should have a little bit of room. Also, a thing to keep in mind with buying coats is when you have something that's really tight on your body and it's really cold outside, you're not allowing that garment to heat up inside and make that barrier between you and the, and the garment and then the outside. So you actually want your body to have a place to like warm up the air surrounding your body. When you allow room, you have the, the warm air and then you have the fabric. So it's actually better to have something that's meant to keep you warm be a little bit bigger. A little bit, not a lot. Um, so there's pockets and what's really great and I hope you can see um, is the pockets on this coat are right in the front and I love them and they're so big. Um, I don't, I'm recording with my phone so I can't show you but it's just so easy to put your phone in here. I find when I'm wearing this coat, I don't even put my phone in my purse. I just keep it in my coat. It is so convenient. I really like these big pockets. They're just, they're so easy to put your hands in and out of. Like you don't have to find them on the side somewhere. They're just right there and they are so big and so comfortable. So yes, definite great thing and that's what the girl told me too at the store she's like I have the same coat I love it so much I absolutely love the pockets and yes yeah, like I totally agree I love the pockets as well okay so this is one of the cons with this coat that is kind of making me crazy is this collar so I think it looks really chic when the collar is up like this but what drives me insane I think it would be amazing if you have short hair this is definitely a short hair girl coat like how stylish if you have short hair to have this nice collar up right like that would be so cute um but it drives me crazy so you can put it down i know it's hard to see black oh okay i think you can see um this is still nice it's not really like my ideal look i think the way the coat looks the best is with the collar up uh when you have long hair and you have your hair out it's going to get all tangled back here because it is rubbing on this big collar. So it's just a thing to keep in mind. So, I mean, I think it's better when your hair's out than being shoved in how I had it when I was just talking to you guys. But yes, it will tangle up your hair. So maybe wherever you're going, you wanna have like a little comb or a brush in your bag. So you can, if your hair gets tangled in the back, you can comb it out because I just see that being a problem if you're wearing this for quite a bit um so yeah this it kind of makes me crazy and then also to keep in mind if you're wearing this coat with the collar up and you have makeup on it is going to rub on your face sometimes and that's another thing that kind of drives me crazy is knowing it's touching my face I mean not a big deal you can clean it but still it's just something to keep in mind um yeah but other than that, that's the only con that I have. I feel that this is really warm. I really like it. I think it's like very stylish. Also, the reason why I like this coat is I feel like this is a very classic design. Um, one coat, I, I think it was called the Steadman coat I was looking at and it's oversized. It's super stylish, really cute. I really like it. Okay, sorry, I just had to get the door. Um, so what I was saying is that, yeah, this coat 
one of the reasons I chose it is because it's very timeless. I was really interested in the Steadman coat and I do think that's a nice coat, but it's very oversized. So it's very on trend. For me, um, I feel like my closets are already pretty full and I'm trying to be very, very practical about what I'm putting into my wardrobe now. I don't feel I go out as much as I did when I was younger. So when I make a purchase, I just want to make sure it's the right thing that's going to do the best job that I need it for. So for me, this one just works the best and I really like it. So I think too, um, yes, $328, it might be a little bit pricey, but for what you get, in my opinion, I do really think that it's worth the money and I've already been wearing it so much and it's very comfortable too. So yeah, if you, if you've had wool coats, um, just like mine in the past where it's like quite tight, I never enjoyed wearing it. I would only wear it out of the way it looked or when I needed to. Um, but I never, like I would hold back because of the comfort factor, but this coat, I find that I do not hold back at all. And I actually gravitate towards wanting to wear it. And I also think it looks really, really chic when you, um, are wearing even like sweatpants sometimes and sneakers. I love it because I feel like it has such a sophisticated top, like the, the collar to it. So if you're kind of, you know, casual or whatever down below and you just don't look the best or even to like, sometimes I'll go to a store without makeup on and I'll literally be wearing like scrubby clothes and I just put this on. I feel like it just adds a sophisticated element without trying too hard or being too showy. There's just something very sophisticated that I really like about this coat. So I also think it's very ageless. Like this is a beautiful coat for somebody who's in their 60s, 70s, um, but it's also a beautiful coat for somebody in their 20s and somebody in their 30s. So it's just like an amazing choice and I'm super happy with it. And I just wanted to do a video on it because I know how popular Aritzia is and you know, buying a coat is a big decision, a hard decision sometimes. So yeah, I really hope that this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment and I definitely always check my comments. I try to respond. Please do click like and I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, please subscribe. Actually, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers before Christmas, which I know is like the most insane thing because there's only like a week and a bit. <laughs> like literally, that's not gonna happen. Let's let's hope it happens. So if you don't mind, if you can please subscribe to my channel, I would so much appreciate it. And um, yes, happy holidays and I will see you in my next video. Bye.